So for today, we're going to be looking at the Arc Light armor set. This is the armor for the Warlock, specifically the Arc Inspired armor. And if you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor as a whole with the Titan Warlock and Hunter, all of them right there in this video. So if you guys want to check it out, we cover how it shaders, how it fashions, how it looks and my personal thoughts on it. Uh, we also covered the Titan and the Hunter. Both of them are right here. We basically are going to do the same thing we're doing in this video where I cover uh each of the armor pieces and i made a whole set with all of them uh the only thing is the warlocks i don't do one for the bond because the bond is pretty terrible in my opinion but we do use everything else so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it and be aware that this is going to be the last video for a while specifically because uh lightfall is coming out and i'm going to be super duper busy granted I will still be making the challenges video with the Eververse video. I most likely will separate them because uh, Eververse just will have a lot more stuff and I want to cover Eververse and the season pass as well. So there is going to be a lot of things to cover in Lightfall. But once I get the new armor for uh, the Lightfall uh, expansion, we'll make a video on it and then do these individual armor pieces as well. And we'll also be doing that for pretty much every of the new armor sets that we get in in, this, in the new expansion, which is most likely going to be three technically because the expansion will have one, the season pass will have an ornament, and then the seasonal activity will have one as well. So it should be three. I hope hopefully it's more because I will always love to cover more. And we also will be covering the Eververse armor. I will most likely be buying it week one. So that way I can just make an arm like a review and then make the individual pieces because uh, it's just easier to cover it when it's when it's uh, when it's new, because when I don't I, I don't have a situation like this where we're finally covering the Warlock armor set or Eververse and it's literally the last day of the, the season. So, yeah, pretty, pretty much that's why I'm going to do that. But let's let's cover the arc light set for the warlocks so to start off we're going to be looking at the helmet the arc like hood and this one i kind of copped out because i ended up going for the hero camo uh chest piece just because i think it looks really cool granted i the reason i went with this chest piece is because the helmet itself is so so extra that i wanted to have something kind of like relaxed and chill for everything else so for the arms, we're using the Krista Kreen gloves. I like this set, especially when you combine it with the Harrow uh, camo because the fur really matches well with the fur at the, at the neck. The boots, we're using boots of the Cormorant Blade because uh, it's a little bit bulky and I like it. And then for the Bond, Ancient Apocalypse Bond is a pretty good choice. The, for the shader situation, we're using Carminica for everything and then Carbon Blood for the arms because I want that gray uh fur and carminica actually turns it red so i decided to use carbon blade so that way i can match the gray uh fur on the neck so nothing really too much to explain about this one i just really wanted to uh not go overboard with the helmet because i do think the helmet is uber super extra and i kind of wanted something else to mellow it down to be fair i think a different shader would probably be better like something either whites blacks or blues because uh, the helmet is just so rich with blue that uh, red is probably not the best choice. So I would probably switch it out with for like a whiter blue shader because then I think that would be a little bit better. I think Sato Tribe would be pretty cool with it. But to be fair, Sato Tribe would turn the whole robe black. So or not black, but it'll turn it like really dark color. So I don't know. We'll see because uh, I will I will most likely try to shift things around. This also doesn't use an exotic just because uh, I really didn't think about using an exotic, but I would probably put some arms in there or maybe boots. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. To be fair, I almost didn't put the helmet just because I'm not the biggest fan of it. And some people have done some really, really cool stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the arms, this is going to be funny because the arms and the chest piece are probably my favorite sets that I've made. And do be aware that we are using transversive steps for both of them, specifically the Mind Strider ornaments, just because the, those ornaments not only look really cool, but also looks really cool with the sets that I'm making, because both of them are really like an either or type of situation. Like you can do this if you want to go for like an electrical look, or you can do the other one for electrical look as well, because I think the other one actually pairs a lot of a lot better because there's a lot more electrical effects. So before we get to the next one, let's look at this one. Eagle's hood for the helmet, easy choice. 
for the arms arc light gloves also is an easy choice so this is where it gets really really funny because the painted kitsune robes and the eagles hood all of this i ended up getting from my assassin's creed video for the warlocks if you guys haven't seen it i'll have it up right now but i ended up getting that whole set and i just switched out the boots with uh and the shader as well and i love how this came out i think it looks super super cool sinking feeling shader looks amazing with it for the bond i'm using the psionic speaker bond i like it but i to be fair if we had like a better electrical bond i think i would pick that over this but this is definitely by far like my favorite set so much so that i i'm wearing this right now for my warlock but the next set is also my favorite as well which let's just get into it so for this one we're gonna be using the chest piece and i think this one came out amazing as well for the helmet heart and basilisk headpiece is a really good choice for this for the arms the painted kitsune gloves in combination with the arc light robes look amazing because if you guys don't well you probably will see it in the when i'm rotating the armor but the chest piece has like actual electricity going through it and then the arms actually have that as well so just make sure you pair a shader that has a blue glow so that way you can you can like match the glow or the electrical current that is in the chest piece because the chest piece uh doesn't change color specifically the like electrical current doesn't change color which is why i'm using ultra plasmic because it gives me a good blue speaking of blue the mind striders look amazing with this because of the blue that it's showcasing and then for the bonds uh the switch bond was a choice i made just because i didn't want anything too crazy uh and it pairs really well it is really super ornamental when you actually look at it but as a whole i think it looks really cool so this one this is why i say like both of them are really cool because they're like to me it's like they're the same coin but difference of uh, like what is it what's that saying like uh uh different face of the same coin or i don't know something like that either way i think it looks really really cool it's like pick your poison which one do you want to use the other one looks really really cool but i think this one looks equally cool if not better probably just because it does give you that uh electrical fantasy has like electricity going through your chest piece and your arm it looks really cool so i don't want to talk too much about this one because i do think both of them look amazing but i do understand some people are like you're using the same exotic i just wanted more options with that with the boots which is why i made these two sets so let me know what you guys think this is pretty interesting because the arc, arc like boots immediately when i first saw them i instantly remembered my juggernaut a nezarek sin look that i made for the nezarek video i'll have it up right now and i decided i was like you know what i i kind of want to combine the arc light boots with the deep explore vestments just to see how to look and i think it like came out really really cool so for the shader ha hockey camo is what i went for just because the chest piece is hockey and i was like fuck it whatever let's do it and i think it came out really cool the only thing that's is a negative in my personal opinion is the fact that the boots are like a completely different color than everything else so i would probably just adjust the, sh the shader differently or if it's like the case where the boots take a different color than everything else then at that point i would probably try to troubleshoot it so that way i would probably pick a, like a red shader and then try to find another red shader that matched that well or just turn it all black either way i really like this set i don't want to talk too much about this because i made a video on this already but for the arms touch the legions gloves so that way i can have that armored look uh deep explorer vestments literally what i just said but for the chest piece the arc like boots because i think it looks super cool when you combine it with like a bulky chest piece specifically like a like a tactical look because i feel like it fits so well like the boots like specifically the shin guards i feel like that's like like almost like metal metal casing so that way i don't get shot there i think it looks amazing and then for interlace bond specifically because to me it kind of looks like a like a shield that people would use to block stuff so nothing too crazy here i just do think that the shader would probably have to be switched out but other than that i think it looks amazing so warlocks i know this was a short video but i only have four pieces for you and two of them are like really really close but let me know what you guys think again i am a big fan of the two in the middle the helmet is okay i think the boots are a sleeper hit because i actually didn't even pick them up originally i had to buy them with silver because i i it was the week where bungie uh, reset everyone's progress and i guess i just didn't rebuy the the boots for the titan and the warlock so let me know what you guys think again uh we will be having a lot of stuff a lot of content coming out this week for for lightfall some of it may be fashion depending on how fast i get the armor but a lot of it is going to be like uh eververse 
the challenges of the week we'll be looking at the season pass as well we're going to be looking at the campaign we're going to be doing the lightfall campaign on legendary and i will most likely have cam on that so that way people can see my reactions and whatnot and we're just going to be doing a lot of content so i'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to push as much content as i can like specifically i want to do more weapon stuff because i did say i wanted to do that from season of the plunder and i just didn't do it at all so i do want to push myself to do more weapon stuff because i used to do weapon content as well like we would go through the weapons the perks and whatnot and i want to do that again because i really do enjoy it and <clears throat> i think i think i have a, a, a like I, I feel like i could be trusted considering i'm not like other content creators where they'll be like this weapon is like super good because like it's better than everything by like 1.2 percent and it's like i don't care about that like i immediately look at the face value and it's like am i gonna like this yes or no no i'm not gonna use it so i guess i'm just a little bit more honest with myself so i feel like people would appreciate that but let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later mm <clears throat>